Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can pre-select some dynamic selection in FBL 5N screen. FBL 5N is used for checking customer balance. Okay, so I go to FBL 5N and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So if I go here, dynamic select, and suppose there is a requirement, okay, I need to hide this industry. I don't need it, okay, or I so the first requirement is to hide this industry key. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to a new session and we'll create SE36. We go to this very important. And here you go and you select DDF. Okay. Once we select, we go to extras, selection views, and here you, if you see there's a custom already created, you click change. Okay. Now here KNA1 is the place where I will have this value. So let me see what is the value I need to I need to hide. I don't want to see this again. Okay. So I want to hide it's in wait which table? KNA1 BRSCH. Very important. Okay. So what you can do here. So we are going to search for BRSCH. So I'll click on page down. And here you can see BRSCH is checked. I'll do uncheck and I'll save it. The moment I saved it, okay, now this is this was checked, okay, what I'm going to do after I made this configuration, I will go back completely, I'll go to FPL 5N, and I click here, and here you can see the industry is gone. Now let's do something where we want to include something, okay, so suppose I want to include here, Suppose I want to include the reference number. So let me see what is the reference number that gets stored. So I, I included it, double clicked on it, and here if I check, I'll click F1 and I want to know whether that can be included in the PC. So it's XBLNR BSID. So what I'm going to show is why I'm doing it because see I have included here now. I go FBL 5N again and I click on this we included the reference number before but now it's not there so every time I need to add these I have to go here you know it's a lot of clicking three clicks then I have to find it out you know and then I have to add it every time I'm coming here okay so that's painful right so in order to make this less painful, what we can do is we will go here into this place and we know it's in documents, okay? It's in which table I know is it's in BSID. So I go here, I click on BSID and here if you see, I will look for XPLNR. So it's unchecked and click check and that's it, save. So next time what I have to do is I again come back completely. I'll go here FPL 5N and here I click on this and now if I check, voila, the reference number is here. So that's it. Very important. So stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.